September 9th, 2017. The first winds of Hurricane Irma just starting. Of course, we're in Angwood, Florida. Checking out my, look at the size of these. This thing like exploded the last few days. These things love hurricanes. These are, of course, my chocolate morgula. Oh, there's another one. Chocolate morgula. Uh, Trinidad, Trinidad chocolate morgula scorpion. Here's a big long name. Man, all these leaves are fresh too. All this, this thing is really going crazy the last couple days. Man, it's got flowers all over it. Oh, my other uh, pepper plant over here. Of course, we're packing all this up. We're getting ready for the storm, boarding the house, hunkering everything down, getting paver blocks, weighting everything down. Uh, I'm going to just try to get these in the back side of the uh, shed here. This are some just bell peppers that I got. And man, there's like three, four of them on there. And like a whole bunch of blossoms starting. My macadamia nut tree that I just put into this new bag is uh, I don't know, looking a little funny there, but it should be okay. So yeah, I got to drag all these bags over here. Oh yeah, and this pepper plant, this is my Russian red giant. And uh, those are pretty good sized little peppers, fist sized. And uh, this one I think is just starting to turn a little bit red, just barely. So I was going to pick them and make them, I don't know, I might, yeah, I think I might pick them today and make them into some Spanish rice to last the next couple of days because we're probably going to be going off grid, I'm trying to get everything stacked in the shed here. Got my tile saw and my uh, third, second or third drill. I got a couple drill presses. That's the second one. Got them up off the ground a little in case this floods. We're at 13 feet at this particular point. Water flows that way and the other way. So we're actually the crown of the the whole area here. Not in a flood zone. We don't require flood insurance. Of course, we have to have it because of our mortgage company so we are covered but and when three inches of rain comes down you see we only already have standing water out here so when three inches of rain comes down in an hour or so this goes up a couple inches and it takes it a couple days to go down so if we get a foot in the next day there is going to be uh, water probably over the road but again even though this is an older house our elevation is higher than just about everybody else on the street. So we're actually going to be the last ones to flood here, I think. Um, my neighbor down here on this corner might be a little bit higher because he's a newer home and he's right at the top of the... But we're, we're pretty good here for flood. Um, gable end roof, not a good thing. So we're going to ride it out at the shop. It's going to be coming 90 miles an hour from that direction right there right at uh, the face of the house and this this north side here and I'm trying to get things hunkered down in between the sheds and uh, everywhere we can but that's it oh my my big huge black or blueberry or yeah blackberry plant that's just this thing grew all of this this thing was only like 18 inches long at the beginning of the season yeah I need to move that out of there too because that thing is doing really good. Look at the stuff growing on there. That's all fresh growth too. It only had two little sprigs on it. It's got like six or eight now. I think should be making berries next year for, if it's still here. That's it, cut.